Laurie. It's Pastor Meredith. Hey, Laud. Oh, hi. You just caught us while we were getting ready to have a snack. You know what? I was thinking about having a snack too. What are you having? I was going to have some of these. I think these are Ritz chips. That, you know, those, those fun, salty crackers. Mm -hmm. And, and I, I started a, a cheese stick. And I'll admit it, a Diet Dr. Pepper. But it just sounded good today. Yeah, I, I snuck into my kitchen too and I grabbed mm. cheese it box. I was going to have some cheese it and maybe one of these bananas back there. I am hungry, ready for a meal. I, well, I can tell Laud is, he's ready to snack. I see Laud is very ready to snack. Well, hello, everybody. Welcome to Celebrate Wonder. I'm uh, Pastor Meredith, our lead pastor at Douglas Avenue United Methodist Church, of course, here with Miss Laurie, who's our director of children and youth ministries, and the ravenous Laud the Lamb, who is ready for a snack. And we are so glad you are here for Celebrate Wonder with us. We are going to be using the materials that are marked as week two, session two. Did you get that? Session two. So pull those materials up for our time together today. Session two, two, two. And if you haven't had a chance to get an activity kit yet for Celebrate Wonder this session, oh my goodness, we want to get you one. So call us in the church office and we'll connect with you and get you the um, get you that activity kit so you can have the materials and all the prayers and all of the things that come along with it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You, you might want to go get yourself a snack right now. So maybe grab a snack and, and we'll head on to our wonder table and you can head to your wonder tables too. How's that sound? Sounds good. Mm -hmm. See you there. Mm -hmm. Hi everybody. Welcome to the wonder table. We're here, right? Okay. Claude. He's too early again. He likes his bunny ears. I'm okay with that. That's okay, Lod. We're getting ready for Easter this week. We understand. He's really excited. Good. Very excited. Mm -hmm. I, you know what? I would, I, I would take him off for, for one more week. Okay. Okay. He's going gonna to take those off. Yeah. Because now we want to light our candle. See if I can do better at it this week. Ah, there we go. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Oh dear. You know, we're lighting candles here at our tables today. And that makes me think about special meals. And it makes me wonder, what kind of special meals do you remember, Miss Laurie and Laud, as you light your candle? Oh, you know, I love like holiday dinners. You know, like Thanksgiving and Christmas and Easter. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Those no, are, are not happy. But those are fun, aren't they? With special foods and usually lots of storytelling and remembering about our families and friends. Yeah, and a lot of times foods that you don't have all the time, but you remember them for those holidays. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that makes me think about our Bible story that we have for today. So we want to encourage everybody, remember to get out your session two material, session two, because there's questions and all kinds of things in there. But our story today, and you can read this in your Bibles, is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 22, verses 14 through 20. And we're going to hear about today the Passover meal that Jesus celebrated with his disciples. And the Passover meal is a special meal celebrated by our Jewish brothers and sisters, where they remember the story, how a God saved their people from slavery in Egypt and delivered them to safety. And it was at this special remembering meal that Jesus gathered his friends and his disciples around. And he 
you know, we, we know from our Bible stories that sometimes the disciples had a hard time understanding what Jesus was up, up to, right? They, they didn't always get it. And Jesus wanted to give them a special way to remember what he had taught them and to remember him. And so when they went to eat their bread together, I have some bread here, and drink from their cup together, which they always had um, at the Passover meal, Jesus told them that he was going to love them forever and love the world forever. And that the bread, eating the bread and drinking the cup were going to be a special way to remember him forever and ever. And so oftentimes when we get together at church, we share and we eat bread and drink uh, juice together as a way that we remember Jesus. And that's what our Bible story is all about today, which is pretty cool, I think. Remember. And it's our word. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And that got me to wondering, now you could ask some, when you read your Bible story, you could roll your wonder cube and ask some wonder questions. You can use the questions that are in your uh, session two materials. What do you think, Laurie and Laud, that Jesus's friends remembered about him? Hmm. I think they probably remember his, his goodness and how you're kind of thinking about back to last week, how welcoming he was to everybody. Everybody. Yeah. He, welcomed. he welcomed everybody to his table. I think they probably remembered how he healed people and talked with everybody and loved everybody and loved them even when they were not being very lovable. I think yeah. they probably remembered all of those things. Well, this is a week. This is definitely a week for us to remember things about Jesus. So, why don't we head into our Bible story video? I think it's going to help us some more. What do you think? Mm -hmm. A lot of grief. Yeah. Well, let's do our prayer together, and then we'll watch our video. So, let's pray. You ready? All right. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you for giving us ways. Thank you for giving us ways to remember you. To remember you. Amen. Amen. Great. Well, let's watch our Bible story video and learn even more. All right. Hey, everyone. I'm Abigail. In our Bible story for today, Jesus is at dinner with his friends for the Passover meal. Passover is an important Jewish holiday that happens every year. Sharing meals was also a normal community activity in Jesus' time. Jesus sat down at many tables with his friends, sharing their time and coming together over food. But this one was different. Jesus took bread and broke it. He said to them, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Then he took the cup after the meal and said, this cup is the new promise, the new covenant. Drink it and remember me. The disciples didn't understand everything Jesus was saying, but they knew this was special and they were glad to be together. This meal they shared is an important meal we remember. Sometimes people take communion at church. When they do this, they are celebrating and remembering the Passover meal and the words and teachings of Jesus. But there are also other ways to remember this special meal. We can do this by eating with friends or family and thanking God for our food and time together. Communion can happen in many different ways, but when we do it, we do it to remember this meal when Jesus asked the disciples to keep coming together to remember him when he was no longer with them. Last year, my best friend moved away. Right before she left, we had a big pizza party to celebrate her. It was so fun! We played games and laughed with our friends until we had to go home. Now, I have a pizza party with my other neighbors once a month. Whenever we have it, I remember my friend who moved away and all the fun times we had together. I also remember what an awesome friend she is, so I try to be an awesome friend too. Jesus invites his friends to remember him and the things he taught them by gathering together and sharing a meal. When we take communion, we remember who Jesus is and what he did for us. We are asked to live like Jesus and remember our faith through his life. So the next time you are taking communion at church or sharing a meal with family and friends, take a moment to look around. 
Be grateful for the people with you and the time you have together. And remember Jesus. Now it's your turn to wonder. Okay, hi everybody. Our activity this week, we are going to make a menu. Think about things that you might serve if Jesus was coming to dinner at your house. I know, kind of a lot of pressure, right? It's Jesus. What would you serve? So we're gonna start our menu, just like a menu we see in a restaurant, with a starter, meaning like an appetizer. And this page, yeah. is in our, this is in our activity kit, right? Right in your activity kit, week two. Hmm. Ooh, I know what I'm going to serve as a starter. It's one of my family's favorite thing. It's an artichoke dip. I'm writing down artichoke dip. Mine. I did? Let's see. I, you did. That's so funny. Um, okay. Oh, I know. I went with nachos. Yum. Okay. What's next? A main course. That's like the main thing that you would order. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, you know what one of my family's favorite things is? It's roast with roasted potatoes and vegetables. I think oh, that would be good. good. I'm writing that down. Now, I'm going to pretend that I'm my kids. And I know what they would put. Chicken fingers and French fries. Oh, that sounds good too. Mm -hmm. And then we get to come up with dessert. Yeah. Chicken fingers and French fries. Oh, maybe some barbecue sauce on the side. There you go. Oh, Miss Laurie, the next thing is dessert. And I know what my family would want me to make. It's a favorite. And I think Jesus would like it too. It's very Southern. I would make banana pudding. So I'm writing that down. Wow. I'm going to put down something that I have here right now. And it seems kind of fitting. I'm going with angel food cake for dessert. Oh, it does seem a little fitting. That's funny. Right? Yeah. And then a beverage. Well, I can tell you that my the 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 kids in my house would very much like Sprite, so we're gonna have Sprite. And those bubbles are kind of fun, so we're gonna see if Jesus likes that too. I think I'll go with my my kids again here, and they would want a cherry coke. Mm -hmm. So this is what I think we would we would we would serve Jesus. I think this might be what we would serve Jesus too. It'd be fun. And this is just making me more hungry. Me too. Yeah. So have fun making your own menu if you were gonna have Jesus over for dinner. And maybe you can talk the adults in your house into making these things. Mm hmm Exactly. Have fun, guys. Hey, grown-ups! it's time for our spiritual practice for this week on this Holy Week. And as we're heading into Easter, so we've been talking about a Jesus' special meal that he shares with us in Holy Communion. Just encourage you this week to make or serve your favorite meal and enjoy this meal with friends or with family, somebody close to you in your household. Maybe join up on Zoom and, and share a favorite meal with somebody who's far away. And then as you share the meal, I encourage you to just go around the table and invite each person to uh, talk about a way that they can be a blessing to others and really allow this special meal to be a wonderful time of blessing for everybody that's there and then give you a chance to think about a way to be a blessing for others. So enjoy that meal this week. Enjoy your Holy Week um, and your Easter, and we'll see you back next week. Thanks. Okay. Okay. So as we learned today, and in our Bible story, 
had a lot to do about sharing food, and in particular bread. So I have a piece of bread here. Pastor Meredith also has some bread. And he would give, he would break off a piece just like that and share it with his friends. Now in the church today, what do we call that, Pastor Meredith? In we, call church today? Sharing, yeah. we call that sharing communion when we're together. But we want you at home this week with your with your family, with your household to get some bread out and you can share it with each other. And you can say, Jesus shares his love with you and you can uh, give it to each other to eat. So Laurie, Jesus shares his love with you and with you, Laud. Pastor Meredith, Jesus shares his love with you. Thanks. Mm, I'm eating some. It's good. A lot of <laughs> So this week, don't forget about your celebration chart as we are charting our celebrations each, each week. So don't forget to do that with your family. And we have a lot of really fun things coming up in the church, don't we? We do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, we do. So this one. Yes, go go no, you go, Ms. Laurie. You go about Saturday. Tell us all about it. Saturday, we are doing an Easter egg scavenger hunt. So there will be eggs. There will be a fun little gift bag at the end with more eggs and treats. But you're going to look for some clues. And you can come anytime between the hours of, I believe it's 10 and noon. There's no particular start time or end time. It's just as you get through your scavenger hunt with your family. Okay. So come and join us. Fingers crossed for great weather. This we'll Saturday, this, this Saturday, Saturday from 10 to noon, right at the church in the back parking lot, just park on the street and then come in uh, the Douglas street entrance. And then we yeah. invite you to join in any of our Holy Week services. We have online communion on Thursday. That's tomorrow. You can drive through communion at the church parking lot from four to six. And then the online service at 7 p.m. And then on Good Friday, we have an online service. That's this Friday at 7 p.m. And then you know about Saturday between 10 and noon. Don't forget. And then on Sunday, we have 815 communion for Easter in the sanctuary at the church. You just have to sign up in advance. And then we'll have our regular 1030 online service. You can join us online right here on Facebook. Or you can also join us at the gazebo in Washington Park for outdoor Easter worship. You can come at 10 o'clock or you come at 11 o'clock. Okay, it's so nice. We're going to do it twice. So join us in the park um, for outside worship for all people of all ages. We're going to have a lot of fun and sing some fun family songs, have a wonderful story time. Of course, um, Laud the Lamb will be there for our Easter celebrations in the park. So you don't want to miss that. So have a wonderful week. Enjoy remembering Jesus every time you eat bread and uh, sit down and share a meal together. And we hope to see you this weekend for Easter celebration. All right. Oh, and you should stick around and sing too, yes? Oh, yeah. Oh, we can't forget our, we don't want to forget our video. So make sure you stick around for just a couple of moments for our song, Remember Your Love. See you soon. Mm -hmm. everywhere in pictures and songs Gave us a
Remember your love. Oh, we remember your love. 